All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office North. Uh, I just want to go ahead and address a couple questions that some viewers asked me yesterday. Is that I would love to schedule a time to get together with a bunch of people to go shoot. Uh, it's very hard for me to do because I'm getting ready to jump in the car and travel eight hours south. So, yeah, it's uh, one of those things we just, it's hard to do. Uh, and another thing is that I went out to test the shotgun because I was very excited about putting a red dot on that thing. So, finally, I could hit uh, some targets. And I wasn't able to hit the target. Why? I don't. It wasn't because the optic was moving around, but I think it's because the reticle was not really liking that big old slug round. So we're going to have to make some changes. I'm really excited about the new Trigger Tech Diamond. Or not the Diamond, but this is the new Trigger Tech Single Stage 3 Gun. And we'll do a review on that because it's coming to the house tomorrow. Very excited about that. And... We also got a big old load of shotgun shells coming in. Very excited. Okay, so what are we talking about here? The ATF director, Dellebach, defends the stabilizing brace rule. More at congressional hearing. This is an article in USA Today by Nick Penzen Statler. Okay, so usually these rags, they talk about this came out on the 26th. We're a little late on it, but you know what? Here's the deal. If you're looking for the latest on what's going on with the, the stabilizing braces that uh, all of a sudden turned into an SBR, because they overnight just go ahead and flip flop and do whatever the uh, Biden or uh, the O Biden handlers say. The head of the nation's gun regulation agency defended policies to crack down on gun dealers and a new prohibition on stabilizing brace devices Wednesday at the Capitol hearing. Crack down on gun dealers. What are they cracking down on gun dealers for? Are they doing something wrong? I'm not sure. GOP at the House Judiciary hearing hammered Stephen Dettelbach, director of the Bureau of Alcohol, blah, 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 on what they called inconsistent previous guidelines on braces that are due to become illegal to possess without a license June 1. So yeah, yep, June 1. That's just right around the corner here. Okay, you told them one thing 10 years ago, and now you're telling them something else. Republican Chairman Jim Jordan said, decrying that owners of the pistol brace devices will become felons overnight. That's true. Dennebach defended the new rule signed by the Attorney General Merrick Garland, who is APOS, and cautioned that unwitting violators likely wouldn't face prosecution and the 10 year prison sentence penalty given to prosecutors' priorities. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, it appears that if you have a little, you know, card that's this big uh they go ahead and tell you that's a full automatic weapon and they put you in jail for it or if you have i don't know a trigger that was at one point legal and now is illegal and you have possession of it well you're in possession of a, a machine gun and i just oh it's no big deal we're not going to worry about it so in any case yeah trust these guys know when does the pistol brace rule start after the june 11, one deadline millions of braces which effectively allows a pistol to operate as a short barrel rifle that's this guy's word Head and step tattler or whatever his name is will need to be detached, registered, or destroyed. The rules have already been challenged in court, and a similar ban on bump stocks were handed to a blow by a federal appeals court Tuesday. The appeals courts have upheld the bans in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Critics question the question crackdown on gun shops. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm a critic, and I'm questioning what the hell happened here. Representative Matt Getz, Gates, Getz, or whatever you want to talk it, read a letter from a constituent. He says held a federal firearms license for 46 years before being revoked recently for selling to a prohibited purchaser. The licensee says he relied on Florida's background check system that gave the sale a go-ahead. Why should you be able to destroy the livelihood of my constituent, Gets asked. Dedebach, who's a turd and uh, knows nothing about firearms, couldn't he identify what a uh, what a so-called assault weapon. Dedebach defended the new zero-tolerance policy under President Biden that encourages ATF to revoke licenses for willful and repeat violations. Was this guy willful? Did they prove that in a court of law? Uh, was it a repeat violation? Well, I would say that if, uh, AT, uh, if FFL is uh, going out and just selling the guns without doing what he's supposed to legally, he said, well, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, but uh, if it was something that he thought was in the right and it was a mistake, not on his part, but on the state and the federal government, well, that's wrong, okay? Congress has given us the authority to inspire Back to make sure firearm dealers are compliant, and the vast majority are, Dettelbach said. I wonder if it can identify or knows what a, uh, a firearms dealer is. A very small minority of those dealers are due process, have after due process, have been revoked. What is the due process, I wonder? 
New data released from the ATF shows the 92 licenses revoked in 2022 was the highest rate since 2006. Representative Tom Tiffany, Tom Tiffany, okay, Republican from Wisconsin, asked if the crackdown has resulted in a reduction in crime. Hmm. There are lots of causes for gun crime. It's impossible to say. One of them is the silver bullet, but it doesn't mean you don't have to work on all of them to address the issue, Dittlebach said. Yeah. Okay, the OIG, Office of Investigator General. Those are really bad dudes, man. I mean, when I say bad dudes, the OIG, the, yeah, they're pretty good. The Department of Justice Office of the Inspector General issued an audit of the ATF's gun shop inspection program criticizing what it called inconsistent application of penalties that didn't always follow policy. Ta-da! ATF is screwing up, and they're screwing people's lives up. Again, it noted that in 98% of the inspections with at least one revocable violation, like selling to a prohibited purchaser did not result in a revocation. We believe the ATF is at risk of fostering the perception among FFLs that certain violations are tolerated, that FFLs will not be held accountable for compliance with federal firearms laws, or that the ATF's use of administrative actions is unpredictable or unfair, the report states. Auditors found that more than 2,200 active gun shops that hadn't been inspected for more than a decade, well outside the goal... <laughs> Anyway, let's just talk about this. ATF officials pushed back because how the hell can the ATF be wrong on the OIG findings, but ultimately pledged to implement fixes in the many future areas. <laughs> Nick Penzen Statler is a reporter on the USA Today investigations team. All right. So what do we think? ATF screwing up? Yeah. OIG found they are screwing up? Yeah. Are they consistent on their policies? Hell no. So where are they going to go next? wherever o biden tells them to go or the handlers correct so y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below this is a real quick video getting ready to jump on the road uh very excited about getting this trigger system in i'm all so excited about not having to worry about ammunition for this three gun and i got one of those icy breeze coolers probably not going to need it but man uh i bought it by the way yeah so we're going to see how that thing works my wife is really not happy with me but you know it is what it is so <laughs> with that being said guys let me know what your thoughts are down below uh, yeah, is the ATF being fair on their policies? I don't think so. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. You guys be good. In the infamous words that a real Cobra burnout. Y'all be good. Boom! I'm going to put the link to the article down below. See ya. Y'all be good. <laughs>